How we doing, everyone? My name is Michael Warden, and if you're new here, gotta say, it's a pleasure to meet you. And if this is one of your very first ever videos that you saw of mine, well, first of all, this is part of a whole series of let's get better at stop motion animation together. And this here is going to me is going to be me covering running. So let's get to it. Now, before I get into showcasing you, you know, on how to make your Lego minifigure run with stop motion, I, I want to mention something here. I know some Lego, you know, stop motion people have kind of showcased a way of of making their minifigures move very fast. Like what they would do is take like, a, you know, take Lego bricks and build them in color, color conjunction to the color palette of the minifigure and we'll kind of will just place those things that they built across the screen as they're animating them to make it look like they're moving fast. Now, that's cool. One can argue that, excuse me, that it could probably be used as like a special effect, which I see is an, you know, is, a, is an agreeable point. But to me, excuse me, I think there is something that is very rewarding when you take, when you take your minifigure here and you actually get them to run and you actually see them running because you did that with the effort given. Now, this is my third take here. I'm going to be very honest with you. You know, with, with working and trying to make this sound and look good for you guys. And I settled on this one trick. I mean, not, not, not trick, but on this one method of showcasing your minifigure to run. Y yet again, at the end of the day, you want your minifigure to run and be fast. Not like walking where they walk casually. You want them to run fast across whatever scene that you're animating. So what, as I like to do, is take one or two pictures. It's a nice little buffer. You can kind of see the night, you know, the, the timeline and stuff. And can you see my, f yes, you can see my hands. Okay, so, so what you do is you take your desired leg, whatever you want to use. And let's say, for this, for this time around, we're using the left leg, all right? We're going to use the left leg here. And of course you got to make, you got to move the opposite appendage to whatever leg you, you know, you moved. So for instance, we got the right leg moving forward. You, yeah, no, no, you're using, sorry, excuse me. You got the right leg moving forward. So you're going to make the left arm move forward. And then you're going to make the right arm move back. Just like that. Then you're going to take a picture. Then what you're going to do is take this leg here, pull it forward. You're, you're making him skip a stud, take the arms and kind of just, you know, put them up a bit, add some exaggeration to it. And as you, and also as you can see, there's some stick attack on his, on his feet. I, I'm not going to bother here with showcasing how to put that on his feet, as you should probably know already. On my video on, on making your make on making your minifigures walk, go watch that video. I showcase how to do it there. And also, I'm not going to bother how to take it out. I also showcase that there too on, on the walking video. So, did I take a picture of this? Not yet. So, I'm going to take a picture of that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant his foot that I made him move forward just like that and I'm going to push down just a bit, push that down just a bit. And what I'm going to do, take another picture. Then I'm going to take this leg, move it forward, move this back move that forward and make him skip a stud. All right, make him skip a stud. 
that leg you just made move forward, make him plant into the stud. And then make his arms kind of come back just a bit. And then as per usual, surprise, surprise, take a picture. Now, post-production Mike here. Hey, how's it going? Is going to be fast forwarding me through this process of me animating Spider-Man running. So, here we go. Alright, now, let's give it a watch. Make sure we're in 12 frames still. Good. See? Oh, oops. Well, who cares? So, as you guys can tell, it looks really, really, really good. You know, he's running, he's moving. You know, he's, I gotta, I gotta get going. You know? It's pretty neat, actually. The other method that I showed in my first take was, i show you guys real quickly. And that is... All right, real quickly, I'll admit, after that, a little eruptive erupt, end to the session of showing, casing him running, uh, I will showcase real quickly what the other little method was, was when you lift the leg, and of course you move the opposite arms, and of course you, you take the picture, then what you do is after this, you then skip a step and you take a picture. And then you obviously make him plant, straighten him out a bit, especially with the arms. And then you then take another picture and then you would just with his foot just a little bit out, you know, just as per usual with the opposite arms out, take a picture, and then take him and spread his arm just a bit, like that. Take a picture, and then so on and so forth. I mean, you kind of get the idea what the other method, just a little modification is, but I, I kind of like the, the first method I showed because it really looks like he's really trying to, you know, get moving. But here real quick, I know this is just real quick. Okay, we're at 12 frames. As you can tell, he's, you know, he, he's running, but it looks, it looks a little different. So, yeah. So, now that's really going to do it for me showcasing, showcasing and teaching how to animate a minifigure running. So, just like that, that is the very end of me showcasing to you guys of what it's like to make a minifigure run with stop motion. And also, this pretty much in a way marks the end of, you know, of let's animate together, let's get better together. But, it doesn't just end at end it it just ends for the the beginner stuff to me learning how to you know do a wave walking running to me those are pretty you know basic and you know they're they're, they're good starting points for if you are new to doing stop motion you know using these videos will kind of help you see like what you need to look for when you're moving a leg, moving an arm, or, or something like that. But my next set of videos that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get out are going to be like something more advanced, like fight scenes and s stuff of that kind of nature. You know, I, I want to try to, you know, obviously we, we, us as stop motion animators, you know, for starting out, we got to eventually kind of just level up our style, you know. And when it comes to style, with what I just showed you with 
you know, Spider-Man, the minifigure running, look, that there is the most basic when it comes to running. If you have some kind of trick or some nice little flair that you want to add to running or walking or anything like that, then by any means, add it there. But if you're someone like me and you're extremely new to this, then obviously something like that is a good start. So, I hope you enjoyed the ser you know this whole series so far. A as you may know, it takes a while to get all these videos out so that you know they're they're done right, they're done good, and they're done in good quality, whatnot. And as I always like to say, you know, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out, and it helps my channel out. And with that, I'm out of here. So, see ya!